Imagine if I told you that the person sitting next to you might not be human, but rather a robot. A machine so perfectly crafted that it looks and acts just like a real human. It may sound like something out of a science fiction movie, at least in the past, but not today. The Koreans are secretly mass-producing human robots. Join us in this episode as we reveal the surprising truth about the secret mass production of humanoid robots in Korea. Exact Replicas Human robots, also referred to as androids or humanoid robots, are machines carefully crafted to look like humans in both appearance and behavior. These machines possess the capacity to wear artificial skin, hair, eyes, and even facial expressions. Not only that, they boast the extraordinary ability to engage in conversations using normal language, recognize faces and emotions, and execute a diverse range of tasks. What we must ask is, why do we have such machines being created? What advantages and potential drawbacks come with integrated humanoid robots into our society? Most crucially, how can we differentiate between a human and a robot? Do you have the answer to these questions? Let us know in the comments section. Where it all began the history of human robots is truly fascinating, dating back to ancient times. During that era, innovative individuals fashioned mechanical figures capable of mimicking human actions. In Greek mythology, there existed a captivating tale about Hephaestus, the god of fire and craftsmanship. Historians believe that Hephaestus possessed exceptional talent. One of the skills he excelled in was fabrication of exceptional automatons. Many marveled at one of his most awe-inspiring creations, Talos. Talos was a colossal bronze man assigned the all-important duty of safeguarding the island of Crete. Ancient China also amuses us with an intriguing story about King Mu of Zhao. According to historical accounts, he stumbled upon something truly remarkable. The tale speaks of a skillful craftsman named Yan Shi who purportedly brought a man-made being to life. In the Middle Ages, Leonardo da Vinci, renowned for his brilliant mind, birthed an incredible invention, a mechanical knight capable of fluid limb movement. But the greatest advancement in creation of human-like robots has been realized from the 20th century. It wasn't until the 20th century that robots began to bear a greater resemblance to humans and attain heightened realism and advancement. Scientists and engineers have made amazing strides in the realm of electronics, computer science, artificial intelligence, and robotics. More and more inventions and innovations were realized in this era. Consequently, they have succeeded in creating robots that demonstrate human-like qualities. These robots possess the ability to perceive their surroundings, acquire new knowledge, and interact with their environment. Famous Humanoid Robots Let us have a look at different examples of robots designed to emulate humans that rose to fame. First on our list is Asimo. In the year 2000, Honda unveiled Asimo, a truly impressive creation that captured everyone's attention due to its remarkable capabilities. This humanoid robot can walk, run, ascend stairs, kick a ball, and even dance. In 2016, Hanson Robotics took over with perhaps the most famous social humanoid robot, Sophia. This AI marvel can engage in conversations, express emotions, and display facial expressions. This humanoid wonder was even granted citizenship in 2017 by Saudi Arabia. Third is Erika. In 2015, Hiroshi Ishiguro Laboratories birthed Erika, an extraordinary humanoid robot. This AI prodigy can participate in discussions on an array of topics, including philosophy, music, and movies. In 2018, a Japanese TV station even entrusted it with the role of a news anchor. These are only some few entrancing examples of robots designed to resemble humans that have been unveiled and showcased before the public eye. But what if there are more humanoid robots that remain concealed from our knowledge? Picture a world swarming with robots so closely resembling humans that it becomes remarkably easy to mistake in them for actual people. Secret Mass Production of Humanoid Robots In Korea, there exists a secret facility where an abundance of humanoid robots is being manufactured. According to our sources, this covert establishment rolls out a significant number of human-like robots each year. Once the process reaches completion, these shocking robots created to mirror hands become available for purchase or rental by customers worldwide. Their clients range from governments, corporations, and celebrities to individuals who are suspected to be harboring disreputable intentions. We are still investigating the reason behind Korea's secret human robot mass production. However, many still speculated that these robots will be used for surveillance infiltration, extermination, amusement, or perhaps sexual exploitation. The customers dictate how they want their humanoids to look and how they want them to behave in order to fit their preferences and needs. How do these robots that resemble humans really work? They use artificial intelligence and cutting-edge technology. The robots are equipped with sensors that allow them to perceive their surroundings and respond accordingly. Additionally, these devices include cameras and microphones so that the user can see and hear what is happening around them. 
They are also equipped with speakers and actuators that allow them to move and communicate. Now let us talk about the most important component of these human robots, their artificial brain. The artificial brain which serves as a computer system directs the humanoid robot's actions and mental processes. The system analyzes sensor data and provides pertinent replies using cutting-edge deep learning techniques. In order to interpret and create language that is comparable to that of humans, it also uses technologies from natural language processing. As if that is not impressive, the artificial brain's memory system also stores knowledge and experiences of the humanoid robot. These memories are built by interacting with both humans and other robots. It can also modify its behavior to fit various situations and places. Do humanoids have emotions? Perhaps one of the most controversial topics of the realm of AI robots development is the ability of these humanoids to exhibit emotions. The capacity of the synthetic mind to manifest emotions is a highly disputed subject that has ignited fierce debates among scientists, engineers, and ethicists. Some contend that emotions are indispensable for artificial intelligence to comprehend and engage with humans, while others assert that emotions are excessively intricate and subjective to be replicated or quantified by machines. One of the primary obstacles in developing a synthetic mind that can display emotions is in the very definition of what emotions really are and how they can be perceived. Some define emotions as psychological conditions that encompass sensations, thoughts, manifestations, and conduct. However, consensus is lacking regarding the number of emotions, their categorization, and how they are influenced by culture, context, and individual disparities. Notwithstanding, another class of AI researchers have tried to define emotions based on the theory of universal emotions, which suggests that there are a limited number of fundamental emotions that are innate and consistent across cultures. These emotions are typically determined through facial expressions such as happiness, sorrow, anger, fear, surprise, and disgust. Nonetheless, some psychologists and anthropologists think otherwise. They argue that facial expressions are not reliable pointers of emotions and that emotions are more complex and nuanced than universal categories propose. Another hurdle in creating a synthetic mind that can exhibit emotions is determining the purpose and function for emotions of AI. Some AI researchers have proposed that emotions can amplify the performance and adaptability of AI systems by furnishing feedback, motivation, and social cues. For instance, emotions can assist AI systems in learning from their encounters, navigating ambiguity and difficulty, conveying their intentions and requirements, and cultivating trust and rapport with humans. However, certain AI ethicists have raised concerns about the ethical consequences of producing emotional machines, such as the potential for manipulation, deceit, exploitation, and harm. Emotional machines could be employed to influence human decision-making and behavior, simulate or exaggerate their sentiments, exploit human empathy or sympathy, or inflict emotional distress or harm upon humans, to mention just a few. Having said that, the Korea-made humanoids claim to have an artificial brain whose emotional system mimics the feelings and moods of a human being. These humanoid robots claim to convey their emotions in various ways, such as via body language, gestures, voice intonation changes, and facial expressions. They also have the astonishing ability to detect and respond to emotions in both humans and other robots. One would think if they are capable of all these, does it mean they have a personality? A personality system integrated into Korea's artificial humanoid brain determines the personality of the humanoid robot. The human robot may have different personalities depending on the situation or what the consumer desires. It might be used to express friendship or hostility, confidence or shyness, comedy or seriousness. Together, these technologies provide the appearance that it is impossible to tell a human robot from a real person. The AI is capable of passing a variety of tests that are used to discriminate between humans and machines, including the Turing test, the Voigt-Kampff test, and the CAPTCHA test. It also has the ability to fool biometric systems that are used to confirm a person's identity, such as facial recognition systems, iris scanners, and fingerprint scanners. Once the world is populated with humanoid robots, Will you be able to tell the difference between the machine and humans? How will someone be able to tell whether someone is a robot or a human? Finding the answers to these questions may not be simple, but there are clues and indications that we can follow. What's the difference? The first clue that gives away these humanoid robots is the plug-in power source. Energy must be available continuously in order to keep the human-like robots function as intended. Batteries, solar panels, and wireless charging are just a few of the ways to generate power. 
It's important to remember that these methods aren't perfect and sometimes run out of resources or have technical issues. The humanoid robot could sometimes need to have its power source refilled or altered as a consequence, which might cause strange behavior or brief unconsciousness. There is one more suggestion about the handling of the human robot. Maintaining a spotless appearance and achieving peak performance need regular self-care. Occasionally, we could see these machines in visible need of repair to replace or fix different physical parts, such as skin, hair, eyes, or limbs. Upgrades to the firmware or software will sometimes be needed to fix issues or improve certain features. One last clue may be discovered in how the human robot behaves. Sometimes anomalies or behavioral faults expose something for what it really is. Anomalies may include things like affirmations that are made repeatedly, contradictory assertions, and remarks that have nothing to do with the topic at issue. Irony, humor, or sarcasm could be difficult for the robot designed to mimic human behavior to understand. Additionally, it could show signs of uncertainty, annoyance, or hostility when faced with difficult or unexpected events. These cues might be applied to identify and expose the human robots. We cannot be overcautious with the rapid, uncontrolled, unchecked, and ungoverned advancement in AI technology. If human robots try to hide or deny their genuine identities, and we ever need to tell the difference, you may want to keep these notes. As we wrap our minds around the secret mass production of human robots in Korea, it may be time to think about an international body governing the production and advancement of AI-powered humanoid robots. There are still a lot of gray areas about the ultimate goal of Korea's mass production of humanoid bots. They may be a positive contribution to AI advancement or pose a threat to our humanity and society. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for your time and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss out on the latest tech and space news.